Christian Zanoni. Hello everyone! This is the second part of the three-part series on proper coverages and positioning for the three-person umpire crew. I want to thank Sergio Radice for completing the first part and setting me up to begin part two. This is a great picture of a three-person umpiring crew, including some of the instructors for this three-part session. Let us begin. Runner on first base. First base umpire is three to four meters behind first base in position A. As you can see, third base umpire has the option of being in position C or in position B. As the ball is hit to right center field, first base umpire starts moving to the outfield to make the call. The third base umpire, if the ball is caught, positions himself between first and second base to watch the first base runner return to first base. If the ball drops, he keeps himself in position to watch the runner advance to second base. The home plate umpire moves towards third base, and this base becomes his responsibility. Remember that a play at the plate would bring him back to the area near home plate in order to make a call there. Next slide. Same starting position. Ball is hit to center field. Third base umpire judges the ball in the outfield. First base umpire positions himself behind first base in foul ground should the ball fall and watches the route of the base runner on first base. If the ball is caught, he watches the base runner return to first base or try to tag up in advance. Home plate umpire moves towards third base, running in foul ground to get there. His responsibility becomes all plays at third base. If the home plate umpire moves towards third base, the first base umpire must quickly run to home plate and prepare to make a call there. Next slide. Same starting position. Runner on first base. Fly ball hit to left field. Home plate umpire makes the call on this ball hit to the outfield and must move toward third base to do so. Third base umpire watches second base and prepares to watch the runner should the ball drop. First base umpire watches the base runner at first, and if the ball drops, makes his way towards home in order to make a potential call there, since the home plate umpire has moved down the third base line. Next slide. Runner on first base. Ball hit in the infield in a possible double play situation. First base umpire moves onto the infield but is still behind first base. If the ball drops or a wild throw, the third base umpire watches the base runner make his way to second base, and in case there's another play, he'll also move over to cover third base. In case of an error, the first base umpire follows the runner to second base and takes full responsibility of this base, since the third base umpire has moved over to cover third. This can be found on the FIPS website under Figure 15 of the three-person umpire presentation. Next slide. Runner on first base again. This is a pickoff play. 
The first base umpire prepares to watch the base runner in case the ball gets away and to make a call at the base on the throw from the pitcher. Next slide. Runner on second base. First base umpires in position B because there are less than two outs. With a hit towards right field, the first base umpire lines up between first and second base for an eventual throw. The third base umpire watches the runner making his way towards third base and is positioned in foul territory. Next slide. Runner on third base. Ball hit to right center field. First base umpire leaves his position to make a call on the play in the outfield. Third base umpire enters the field and it is his responsibility to watch the batter runner make his way to second base should the ball drop. Home plate umpire has the responsibility to watch the runner on third base and see if he's tagged up properly. If the ball drops, all he must do is watch for the runner to touch home plate. Next slide. Runner on third base. Ball hit to left field. Third base umpire runs out to judge the play. First base umpire enters the field and watches the batter runner at first base. Home plate umpire has responsibility to watch the runner in third base to see if he's tagged up properly. If the ball drops, all he must do is watch for the runner to touch home plate. Next slide. This is a clear base hit. First base umpire enters the field and judges the batter runner at first base. Third base umpire enters the field and watches for a play at second base on a potential error. Home plate umpire remains at home plate and watches the runner at third base. Next slide. This is a situation with runners on first and second base. First base umpire is in his regular position. Third base umpire is a little closer to the mound to get a better vantage point of the base runners. If there is a base hit, the first base umpire enters quickly near the positioning the third base umpire previously occupied, which pushes the third base umpire into foul territory behind third base to judge plays at third base. First base umpire judges plays at first and second, and home plate umpire remains at home for a potential play at the plate.
With that, I want to reaffirm what was previously said. It doesn't matter if mistakes are made on the field by one of our umpire colleagues. We must fill the hole. Never leave a base uncovered. Always work to stay concentrated on the field because our work is that of a team. I thank you for your attention, and I thank CNA, the President, and Daniele Villamercati, who supported me throughout all my work. All the best.